In this problem, we've got an electron moving at a constant acceleration, and we're given what that acceleration is, so we'll make a note of the givens here. We're told what the velocity is at a certain point, so we've got v. And the problem's asking us what its velocity is at some point before and after the snapshot that's described to us. I'll start with part A, which might seem a little funky, since it's asking about a time before, a time earlier than what we're looking at right now. But this idea is pretty easy to stomach if you think of it as negative time. So first off, let's pick out the equation we'll use. We're talking about constant acceleration, so we can just use our basic equations of motion. So these three right here. And I'll go with this top one, because it's simple enough, has both velocities, has acceleration, and has time. So it's got all the things we need. And let's say that the velocity given to us, 9.6 meters per second, is the initial velocity in this case. So we're looking for some velocity at some point before and afterwards. So if our, if our initial velocity is 9.6 meters per second, and the acceleration is given to us, 3.2 meters per second squared, and we're talking about a time earlier, then we can take 2.5 seconds and make it negative. And this will, give us the, this will give us the information about the time before the snapshot we're given. So if we put this into our calculator with negative 2.5 seconds, then we find a velocity of 1.6 meters per second. So that is the velocity of the particle uh, 2.5 seconds before its velocity is 9.6. Now part B asks the same thing, except we're talking about 2.5 seconds after the fact. So we'll use the exact same formula, except the only difference is that when we get to time, it's not going to be negative, since we're talking about time moving positively, time moving uh, forward. So that's positive 2.5 seconds, and we plug this into our calculator, and we get 18 meters per second. So the only thing that changed was the lack of that negative sign, and it was enough to give us information about the future. So that's all for this problem. I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you'd like to help me making more of these videos, uh, please consider subscribing, and or telling your friends about it if you're in, if you're in class. And yeah, I've got a Discord server linked down below where you can message me if you have requests for future videos you'd like me to do. So that is all for today. Uh, thank you. For, uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.